Hey guys, it's Liv and welcome back to another weekly Liv video. So right now it's actually midweek. It is Wednesday and I just have not... I'm going to keep it real real with you guys. I'm just going to get straight into the realness right now. I find January to be an extremely hard month. I feel like I feel bad about it because I feel like in New Zealand it's sunny and you should be like really happy and joyous and like yay the sun's out. I should be full of happiness and I'm not like not full of happiness. Like I'm having a good holiday in general but then when I really like get in my head which is quite often because as you guys probably know and you can relate January is like a really reflective month because everybody like goes ham about how it's a new start and I do too but like that's learnt behaviour. I always feel really like overwhelmed and like I feel really like disappointed in myself and really like I have these expectations and then I also through all of that become demotivated majority of the time. I have some good days when I'm really motivated but then some days when I'm really demotivated and it's just like the opposite of how it should be and I don't know if it's just me so if you guys feel me on that please let me know. Something that I found that's been helpful the last couple of days and no not on Monday but like Friday and yesterday is like I get up first thing in the morning like I've been sitting here talking smack and just like doing nothing for like about half an hour but I get up at like 8.30 is my like absolute latest that I want to get up. Normally I get up at 8 and I just lie in bed for a while, put on my active wear, get back in bed for a while and then I get up eventually. Um, I want to kick that from tomorrow. I want to get straight out of bed, stop hanging around doing nothing because it doesn't give you anything. At least if I read a book that would be better by the way. I dug out my Kindle and I've started reading which is so nice. I've been getting up and getting out my diary and like you can see how productive yesterday was. I did so much stuff. I think I did almost everything on there. Um, had a really, really productive day. I'm also getting better at hand lettering, which is nice. So I've just been getting up straight away um, and writing down the tasks that I want to achieve. Yesterday, I also put some tasks um, that I want to that I wanted to achieve today. So like I transferred tasks from yesterday that I didn't achieve yesterday to today. Honestly, having an erasable pen is like the best thing that I could have ever done for like my planning or my bullet journal because it just means that I can write something in and rub it out and it's not ugly. And it means that I'm more likely to write stuff down because I can take it out again. All right, so today basically what I want to do is I want to edit my weekly vlog, my weekly vlog for last week. My camera battery is about to die, but let me show you my outfit for the gym today. So I finished at the gym and I'm just making my breakfast. I'm having a crap ton of granola you guys can't really see but it's my favorite granola i'm having like 75 grams which is like a lot of servings of granola and i'm having one serve of like protein with almond milk as my like cereal milk that's what i like to do pretty much every time that I have granola because it's just yummier and it's way more protein rich. I'm just editing this video and I realized that I completely forgot to mention the name of the workout guide. I talked about it a lot on my Instagram story this particular day so I think I forgot to tell you guys in the vlog but I'm doing Sarah's Day's Sweat It to Shred It guide which starts off with three on oh, four days a week and then it goes up to like six days a week. It's more of a cardio based guide. Um, and yeah, I started it on the Wednesday, which you guys are about to hear about, so I skipped Monday for this week. But normally it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, or something like that. Anyway, on with the clip. So the workout went really well. The day that I did, because I did Wednesday, it's like you do two exercises in a superset. So for example, one of them was hip thrusts for a minute. Well, they were more glute bridges for a minute. And then a minute of like half burpees and then you rest for 45 seconds and you repeat that four times. There's three exercises that you do so it ends up being around 30 minutes long. It's very very different to what I'm used to to say the least. Um, the thing that I didn't really like was the I don't like exercises that require me to have my wrist like I don't know whatever that is like all the weight in my wrists because I think I have weak wrists because they're really I don't know if it's because they're skinny or because I'm weak I don't know. So I found it hard to be in that position for like four minutes, non-stop, or essentially non-stop, when I did, because it's it's like that for, for this particular day, there was like the half burpees, and there was like two minutes of um, like donkey kicks, but like down on the ground. So I found that quite hard on my wrist. I had to skip one set at the end because I thought I was going to die. Um, it was actually really challenging despite it not seeming so challenging. So yeah. I am excited, it is very different, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm gonna keep going with it. I was talking to somebody on my Instagram 
and I was just saying that I was worried about losing muscle although I think I have lost quite a lot of muscle tone um, from not being at the gym properly in a while um, but she just suggested and it was what I was thinking anyway just to add in one weights day like one heavy day I thought I'd actually just show you this part of my room because I never really share it but I've got my diffuser here from 28 I'll leave it linked off down below and then I've got my oils and then I have my socks <laughs> just in a little box and this is my new tidied activewear sports bras are so hard to store but I've got all my sports bras here and then these drawers are satisfying in my opinion I've got my gym shirts so there's some singlets some t-shirts but I know which is which this one's my favorite these are my like most worn leggings they are all Gymshark apart from these which are click I'll just go through them really quickly so I've got energy seamless here and then this is the new energy seamless these are uh no this is an ombre seamless in the gray this is the one that I got the other day the blue one then I've got vital seamless got camo seamless and then these two are flex and then this drawer I'm only going to open it a little bit because at the back it's got some personal stuff but I've got my gym shorts and then these are just some lesser worn so these are um, some black leggings these are um, the ombre seamless in the peach shade and then this um, these ones are by fitnet and then I've got my bra bras here and then I just have some medication and some like pads and stuff in there. Morning, it is Thursday and I just woke up, it's like really early, it's like just gone 7. I actually don't feel too bad, I don't know what time I went to bed last night, but it can't have been that late because I feel very well rested. But anyway, I'm up bright and early today because I was supposed to be going for a walk with my friend Janae. We were going to go for quite a long like bush walk which was going to be really nice but then she was like oh, I forgot that I told my flatmates I'd take them to Go Island today. So instead she's invited me to go to Go Island and I've never been to Go Island. If you guys live in Auckland or maybe even New Zealand you'll probably know about Go Island but it's just I think it's I don't know if it's considered to be in Auckland. I think it is. I think it's a part of Auckland but it's just like up north a little bit but I think it's still considered to be within the Auckland region but it's just like a little island that you can like drive over to and you can snorkel. But yeah I've got all my stuff packed I'm just taking like a jumper, a spare change of clothes, I've got some snacks because you guys know that I'm just like a really hungry person so I've got some snacks I need to fill up my water bottle and take that as well. Um yeah I have to leave pretty early because they're wanting to go like first thing um, in the morning so that we beat like the crowds of people that will go there. It is like a pretty cloudy day today like by pretty cloudy I mean really cloudy so hopefully that means there won't be that many people there anyway. So I didn't actually end up filming like anything because obviously this camera isn't waterproof um, so I didn't want to leave it just by the beach because I was like ah, ah. There was like heaps of people there and I just did not feel comfortable leaving my expensive electronics just on the beach. So it was a lot of fun. We were in the water for like 50 minutes or so. So it cost $39 to get a wetsuit, um, goggles, snorkel and fins. I got in the water and then like I like was on my, I was like standing and then I kind of like swam a bit and then I was, I couldn't stand anymore. And I'm not afraid of deep water. Like, that's not my fear. I'm afraid of like uh, just the ocean I've decided. I've, I've decided I'm just afraid of the ocean anyway. So I like put, put my face in the water and then I just immediately like almost start hyperventilating <laughs> which was not ideal when you're using a snorkel because I don't know what it was. The first time I put my head under the water it was just really scary. Well, I persevered and then it ended up being alright. It was just the first little bit that like I found really scary and then I just kind of like got over it but there was like this so much of this stuff and we like didn't really know what it was we found it after it's called salp and it's basically like a creature thing like a little i don't even know what to call it an organism that lives in the water and it's like gelatinous and disgusting and it was like like the water was thick with it like closer to the shore it was like thick with this like gooey grossness and it was like hitting into our faces and like touching our hands and it was so yuck but then once we got out further it was like a little bit thinner like there wasn't really that much of it but when we had to go back to shore man we forgot how bad it was at the shore and it was so gross good morning guys it is friday and i'm actually like at the gym right now hold on i'm not trying to strip off on camera for you guys but i think i'm going to be too hot with this on 
so I'll just take it off before we go in. Um, but yeah, I'm at the gym today and on the Sweat It to Shred It guide, today's day, like Fridays are challenge days and challenges. I actually haven't looked that far ahead in the guide. I've only looked at this week, but I'm assuming they differ. But this week it's a 10 minute ab blaster and it looks like it's gonna be quite challenging. There are a couple of moves that I don't know how to do, so I'll have to look them up. I'm sorry about all of the car clips today, you guys, but I'm kind of on a time crunch because I need to get to my appointment. But I went to the gym, I did a five minute warm up, and then I did the challenge, and it was so hard. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, it was 10 minutes, 10, 10 exercises for one minute each. I think I missed two exercises out completely because I was like dying. Like, I can deal with pretty much any muscular pain like when I'm working out, you know what I mean? Like that, that feeling when your muscles are like really, it's really satisfying for most body parts. Like I love the burn when you're doing squats and like your legs hurt and I love the burn on my shoulders when I'm doing shoulder exercises but I just cannot deal with the pain of working my abs. Like I feel like I'm gonna cry. It's probably because they're so weak. It's probably why they're so weak, because I give up. But anyway, I probably did about, if I'm being honest, probably about six minutes or six and a half minutes of working out. And the rest of the time I was like struggling and huffing and <laughs> being a sook because it was too hard. But I'm still quite proud of myself. Like that is genuinely better than I thought I was gonna do. Um, I missed yet about two and a half exercises out completely. And then the other ones I would like take breaks when I kind of like got to the end of my you know capability of doing it all right guys so i just finished with bonnie and i like actually laugh every time at how red my skin goes um it's just like angry my skin is always angry i have like sensitive skin like to the days but i just want to tell you that although my face looks like i've been put through hell it looks like i've got makeup on here and not here i want to tell you that bonnie is actually really gentle it's just my brows being crazy so yeah i freaking love them they look so good she's got like every single hair um and obviously the tint looks real intense because a my face is red b i have no makeup and c I, once i wash my face tomorrow my brows generally look a little bit less crazy so i've got a chicken burger got some a quarter chicken Corpus got a cheeseburger there's corpo and curly fries will be here soon. Ah, uh, yes. Hey guys, it's Saturday right now and it's like the afternoon. I just wanted to come in here quickly and update you guys. So, Corpo and I went to a chiropractor this morning. He has pains in like his neck and upper back and I have a lot of pain in my hips. So we decided that we would finally go see a chiropractor and it was so freaking cool. It was like exactly like those YouTube videos that you see of chiropractors. Not quite as extreme. Like they didn't like pull our heads to like realign our spine or anything like that. But it was really, really great. I apologize for the outside noise. There was a gigantic fly in here and I had to open the window. But yeah, honestly, it was so freaking cool. It was quite expensive. It was $80 and then she wants us to have two follow-ups this week and then we can go to like monthly appointments or whatever. Happy Friday. Friday. Hazel. Oh, whoa, Sunday. Hazel and I made cookies. I'm just going to cover up that one. I reckon the other ones are fine. If you don't like swear words, don't look at this. But we, um, Hazel's practicing for an event. It's really yum. That one says whore. Oh, hater. I thought it said whore. Like you no. couldn't spell hoe. 